Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today we're taking a look at Ubuntu Mate version 15.04. Now this distribution is probably tied with Kubuntu as far as how many changes they have made since the last release because we've got tons and tons of changes here. Um, you know, Mate is Ubuntu Mate is now an official Ubuntu release, whereas previously it was just you know based on Ubuntu. It is now an official release. Um, so of course it's going to have to abide by the entire you know Ubuntu release schedule and all those requirements and whatnot. Um, but you know if you're looking for a traditional desktop, um, this is really really a good distribution. And uh, you know while you know it is traditional, um, and it kind of harkens back to the uh, the uh, Ubuntu version 10.04 and earlier days um, but that doesn't mean that we've got all outdated stuff and and whatnot I mean the the team has really done a good job on uh, getting you the latest and greatest stuff but packing it into this traditional desktop and they've added a lot of options for um, uh, you know just to make life easier for you but also allow you to set up the desktop the way that you want first of all you can see our default layout we've got a bottom bottom panel with um, we've got our little trash can over here and then our uh, virtual workspace switcher right over here and then right over here we list all of our working applications and then we've got a little button right here that will minimize everything so that we just got a nice clean desktop up top we've got our menu we've got a quick launch for Firefox come over here and we've got our time date slash calendar um, our tray icons uh, and then a power button but if you don't like this kind of layout it is very easy to switch it just come over to let's see I believe it is under preferences Just open up Control Center. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way to go about this. First, let's open up this Mate Tweak Tool, which is a new addition since the last distribution. We can decide what we what icons we want set up on our desktop. Um, personally, I like a nice, clean desktop, so I have deselected everything. And then, talking about how we like our layout, here you come to Interface, and you've got a variety of panel layouts that are predefined for you. Um, right now it's set for Ubuntu Mate. Now we can go to Ubuntu Mate with the Mate menu. Give it a second and it will switch to that layout which gives us the Mate menu which is uh, it was based on the Mint menu. It gives you the it's essentially the same menu the same menu as the mint team uses except that all of the mint um, dependencies and whatnot have been stripped out and a uh, nice thing I like about this you can use your super key or window key whatever you whatever you like to call it to open up that particular menu you have a um, a little search function so let's say I'm looking for Firefox just start typing and it'll find that for you so I like that menu. Um, I really don't like the old style with the, uh, you know, the places and and applications and whatnot. I know a lot of people do, and uh, you know this is kind of why you have all these options here. You can, you know, pick what what works for you. So we've got this Redmond, which is kind of uh, I don't know Windows XP, Windows 7 style, and then you can also do the Redmond with the Mate menu. 11 let's see what 11 looks like uh, puts it all back up top oh and then it gives us a uh, plank down here to use as a dock not a bad setup if you are a dock kind of person 11 with the mate menu and then this open seuss let's see what that one looks like looks like we got bottom panel everything across the bottom panel uh, personally I Oh, where is it? There we go. 
that would be my personal preference of the defaults um, although probably I would scrap the bottom panel completely move that stuff up to the top so I just got one panel and kind of maximize my uh, my screen real estate but anyway it gives you an idea of some of the the changes that you can make there and then you've got little options here like show icons on menu show icons on buttons all that kind of stuff icon sizes coming down to windows that is where um, so well besides getting to choose where you want your your window buttons on the left or right you can choose your window manager now I have already selected comp is um, because for one it eliminates screen tearing a lot of times on Marco if you're doing something like this you get major screen tearing this simplifies it by going to comp is however comp is does use up more resources so uh, if you want to go a little lighter come up here switch to Marco boom ready to go it instantly switches it for you all the stuff is built in now I will point out for for those of you that are the Compiz fans out there they have not included the um, uh, the Compiz manager so that you can make changes to Compiz so if you would like to make changes to your Compiz and enact like the wobbly windows and various effects like that you will need to go and either via the terminal or software center and you are going to need to add um, the uh, Compiz manager and it you know even from from the uh, software center it's fairly easy to find it just wait for the, the uh, software manager to finally open up uh, you know I, I really do not like you bunch of software center anyway um, wait for that thing to open up and then if you just type in compiz and you can see we've already got the compiz packages added just come down here to compiz config settings and that's what you want to install and actually I'll throw a link on here actually a couple of links down in the uh, video description um, because I've done a couple of videos in the past about making tweaks to compiz and all that kind of stuff you do want to be careful because you can screw up your system big time uh, messing around with compiz settings um, but it does give you the ability to uh, to add some some neat effects some that are just kind of for looks but others that uh, do have a practical use as far as theming goes, uh, there's still quite a variety here. You can see all the various themes, and you can go and customize them to your heart's content. A fair number of backgrounds installed by default, uh, but of course, you know, feel free to add as much as you like. And here we've got our fonts configuration. Uh, they are using the stock Ubuntu fonts, but you know, nothing to stop you from tweaking that. So, um, you know, this is pretty much a tweaker's paradise here. A neat utility that has been added for us is tilde, which is a drop-down menu, uh, very similar to the Quake and Yakwake, those types of terminals. Now I've got mine set up so that uh, Control F12 drops the terminal down, as you can see, it dropped down right there. Um, now I've got mine set so it'll be pretty small, but you can come here to Preferences, and uh, you can see you got all kinds of of um, different configurations that you can do to uh, to your terminal but uh, you know you can you know drop it down some more you know uh, or make it as wide as you'd like you know usually when I use a terminal I don't need it to be that big so uh, you know something like that is perfectly fine for me I go and close that back up but very nice utility that uh, so you don't need to uh, you know you've always got that terminal at hand if you need it Kaja is still the default uh, I'm going to open up open up Kaja here it is still our default uh, file manager and one of the uh, one of the features actually there's a couple features that I really like that we that we've got enabled here um, one of course is the extra pane um, having a dual pane mode it it just makes things so easy for you um, you know Kaja basically has um, is the old Nautilus files uh, from from 
uh, back before uh, it got butchered by the by the gnome team um, you've, you've got all of those um, features that uh, you know we had back in the day back then you know open as admin copy to move to you know tons and tons of uh, options there one of the things that is really nice when looking at these options is folder color we can make a make individual folders you know uh, you know you got a got, got a bunch of uh, options right there gray blue and brown whatever or you can make a custom folder which is very nice so that you know you open up the menu there and if there's one that you go to all the time boom you can you know make it a particular color that stands out from the rest uh, very nice idea on that and then of course you know the dual pane thing I've talked about that a lot in the past how much I like that feature why it was removed from uh, from GNOME files I will have no idea as far as other applications um, most of this is about the same from the previous version um, you know we've got our files we got our we got G calculator um, of course we've already mentioned that Plank has been added as a doc Um, under graphics here we've got shot well still for our um, for our photo needs under internet we're still using Firefox hex chat for our, uh, chat pigeon Thunderbird for email transmission for BitTorrent uh, under office we've got our LibreOffice office suite uh, HRL document viewer um, I have added uh, a little bit here just for doing my um, screencasting but uh, one really nice change and uh, you know thumbs up on this one was going to VLC for our media player you know it just it's, it's open source open platform uh, seems to play just about anything very very uh, you know tons of plugins for it it's just great all-around media player uh, under system tools, of course, we already talked about Kaja, Dconf editor for making those little tweaks that uh, that you don't have regular options for. Uh, of course, we already talked about Tilda. We still got a regular Mate terminal. Uh, it's got some power stats right there. And under administration, we got a we can tweak our uh, Light DM GTK greeter. Got our network configuration printers configuration software updater uh, the uh, Ubuntu disk creator um, I added synaptic just for um, you know just because I hate uh, I hate the uh, software center so much uh, allowed me to go and get get this desktop ready for doing my my uh, screencasting without having to use uh, the software center um, our time and date settings, software center. Let's come down to preferences here, and there's all the tweaks from I added. I will say um, uh, when I went to additional drivers, it detected my uh, AMD graphics card right away. Installed the third party uh, or the uh, you know the proprietary uh, AMD graphics, no problem. Um, so you know, big thumbs up on that. Of course, we already talked about our appearance settings, got backup, Bluetooth manager, um, kind of scrolling down. You know, we've talked about most of this already. Um, our tweak tool for setting up our monitors. Um, I will say that, you know, on some on some desktop environments, um, you know, because I run dual monitors on some desktop environments it detects it right away and, and I don't have to do anything um, Mate is one where um, it does take me a little bit of work to get the desktop set up correctly um, but once it's set up you know you're done you don't have to screw with it again uh, so we talked about that and let's kind of scroll on down here QT4 settings is a nice thing to, to, for for them to add for us and basically what this is of course uh, your QT or slash KDE based uh, applications if you run those in 
a GTK environment, which is what we have here, they don't always look all that great. So having the QT configuration here, you know, you can come in here and play around with the settings and that so that uh, those QT applications don't look quite out of place. In my case, um, Caden Live is the main uh, KDE application that I will use on a regular basis and I use that QT tool myself on my regular on my uh, main desktop for exactly that just so that uh, I don't care about it looking pretty as much as uh, I need to be able to read all the text and whatnot so uh, you know it, it allows me to make a few tweaks there that uh, uh, just so that uh, it's a little easier to work with Caden Live so um, overall impression of this distribution is really good now I will say for a time uh, earlier this year for you know a couple of months I used Ubuntu Mate and actually it was the version 14.04 uh, I used that as my main desktop for a few months and uh, really liked it it's a nice distribution um, and what the changes that we've made uh, in 1504 uh, you know two thumbs up they made it a whole lot uh, a whole lot more user friendly a whole lot more tools so that you can tweak things and, and and that sort of thing you know comp is installed by default you know that saves a whole lot of work um, you know I'm not you know I'm very much a gnome 3 kind of person not much into a traditional desktop so you know while it is not my thing I I do like what they have done here. Um, if you are looking for a traditional desktop, and this is, uh, you know, looking at all the various Ubuntu distributions, this would probably be the one that I would go with, uh, just because you've got so many modern features added, and yet it still gets you that traditional desktop. Um, like I said the only uh, the only reason I got away from it uh, myself was. Like I said, I'm a GNOME 3 kind of person, and uh, traditional desktop really isn't me. Um, but once again, uh, they've done a really good job with this distribution. Um, bug fixes, too. I have not really run into anything that has been an issue for me. Everything has worked out of the box. Every piece of software that I have added um, you know, to do my screencasting and all that kind of thing, everything has worked right out of the box. No crashes, glitches, anything like that. Um, and, you know, I'm still running the, uh, the final beta. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe somebody else has come across an issue or problem or that sort of thing but uh, everything has just worked great for me so definitely two thumbs up on on this distribution and that being said that about finishes things up here give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, be sure to share the video if you liked it subscribe if you are not a subscriber as always I'll answer questions comments all that kind of stuff leave that down below I will get to it as soon as possible and uh, thanks a lot and see you on the next video.